Hey, hey, Sagittarius. Thanks for tuning in today. Say thanks for joining me, or sorry, us, because we got our little buddy Spooky McGill over here. I don't know if you guys can see her tongue is sticking out of her mouth. This is some old ass fucking cat I got going on here, guys. So we're gonna use uh, the Rebel deck today. So I figured this shirt kind of went with it because it was it wasn't too fancy. It's kind of like a uh, a fuck it. I'm wearing something a little spunky today. It goes with the rebel cards. Rebels are all about uh, sort of doing what we need to do, being open, being honest, and not giving a shit about tact. So we're going to cut the deck. We're going to pull the card from the bottom. And we'll see what it's got in store for you guys today here. So <laughs> whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. So I don't know what you're up to. I don't know what you're pushing for. Uh, maybe you're trying to make something happen. You're smashing pegs, uh, trying to get trying to get something to happen, trying to force it beyond its own time. Uh, but the cards are definitely warning against that here. So let's see what the Oracle cards have to say about this Rebel cards advice. And we'll build on this story for a beautiful Sagittarius. And we got one that went sideways. So that's the first one that wants to pop out. Fertility. Fertility is a fantastic card. It is about growth. Uh, personal growth, growing for the future, maybe trying to grow a life. I also have trapped in fear. Interesting. This is going to be a motive. This is going to be a motive for what's going on for trying to build, trying to force something. Uh, maybe fear of being stuck where you are and having things not change. Um, Fear of it not working out is definitely a part of this. You do have sacrifice here. Hmm, interesting. And this sacrifice card might tie into uh, the advice from the Rebel card and just taking a bit of a break from what you're doing and not sacrificing your journey per se, uh, but just taking a step back and waiting for the universe to bring some elements into play for you. I also have light. So definitely speaking for hope, speaking for positivity for the future. And Passion Ignited. Interesting. Oh, these are some wonderful cards. Let's see what Tarot has to say about these guys here. So I have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles represents starting to see the fruits of your labor. You need to step back. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to push for, there's something missing. There's something that needs to come into play. And by you stepping back, it allows something to come forward. And that's what this Three of Pentacles is speaking to you guys. So the Tower card, it represents a sudden or unexpected ending. It's something disappointing, something you were trying to build towards that's not working out. This is what the Now is Not the Fucking Time card is all about. Um, the catalyst for moving forward, uh, trying to build, having these roadblocks in your way. I do have the three of wands, which speaks to keeping your eye on your goal while overcoming obstacles and challenges. Uh, so definitely you are over having to overcome some obstacles right now. I feel like there's definitely setbacks in your way. And it's because of not the goal that you're trying to get to, but the path that you're trying to take to get there is not the right path. And that's why the universe is encouraging, encouraging you to take this step back. Taking that step back allows something else to come forward, allows this light card. It allows the other side to bring an opportunity your way. I have the Five of Cups, and this is also where you're at too. You got tunnel vision. The Five of Cups is a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions so much so that you can't see positive opportunities around you. So that's, we got tunnel vision. We're trying to smash those pegs. We're trying to make it work, and we're not able to see anything else that's going on around us. And that's what this Five of Cups is speaking to today, guys. The Eight of Pentacles represents learning. This is tied into fertility and growth. Uh, this is some personal growth. This is learning to trust the universe, learning that everything happens in its own time. I also have the Seven of Cups. It's all about options, having many options, weighing your options carefully. Definitely taking the step back is going to show you other options that you haven't considered. That's when the universe brings these options forward, these other routes to get to your goal. Because it's not telling you to shit out on your goal because we do have the three of wands here, which represents keeping your eye on the goal while overcoming obstacles. So it's not telling you to give up on what you're working for. You just need to find a different route to get there, guys. And the King of Cups, interesting. So cups is all about emotion. Cups is also a water sign. Sometimes it, it speaks to uh, somebody in the water sign. To me, this King of Cups is representative of your emotions, overcoming your emotions, overcoming this trapped in fear, overcoming uh, the Five of Cups, the worry, the tunnel vision, sort of being stuck trying to smash these pegs. 
And then I have the Queen of Wands. So Wands is uh, definitely a fire sign. This is you, because the fire signs are uh, they're Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. So she's you. She represents you, and she's someone with passion, ambition, and drive. And that's what is definitely speaking to in this read: that drive, that passion, that trying to force this to make it work here, guys. And I have the Nine of Wands, which represents a journey over time. So this is not going to be an overnight success. And this is something that you've already been working to for some time. But the thing about this Nine of Wands, uh, you can see all the wands behind him, the battles that he's been fighting, that he's won along the way, all these obstacles and challenges he's had to overcome. He's absolutely exhausted, but those clouds behind him are starting to part. So success is in the future. A better time is coming, but this is not an overnight success. This is a journey over time. So you guys are going to have to keep plugging away at it, but being able to take a step back from the route that you're on right now is going to allow other opportunities to come forward and give you a chance to see them uh, because it broadens your view instead of having that tunnel vision here guys and that is what the cards are saying to me today i hope that you enjoyed the read thank you guys so much for tuning in and sharing this read with me and spooky buggered off somewhere uh remember if you guys want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and i'll throw your name into the draw i hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care